and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Naya Glass. That's right, we're playing Glass of the Guild Pact. We're going to go ahead and try this deck out. If you remember from our sub battle stream yesterday, if you watched all 12 hours of that, or at least the match that we played here against Pitt, uh, Pitt had an awesome looking deck here with Rien, Angel of Rebirth, a card that I've never played. And so I wanted to play this card. Two and Naya for a 5 4 flyer, give all your other multicolored creatures plus one plus zero. Then. Whenever another multicolored creature you control dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. So you can just play this card and then attack in with uh, no reservation. And we have a lot of things that we want to be attacking in with. Um, but yeah, we're calling this Nine Glass because we're a Glass of the Guild Pact deck. Um, whether or not Glass of the Guild Pact would be better than like Hero of Precinct 1, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll kind of like play it out and see how it goes. Um, Pitt didn't draw any Glass of the Guild packs whenever we played. Um, but the other card that looked, besides Rien looked really impressive, but be, the other card that looked really impressive is actually this little land over here that I've also never played, Guild Mages Forum. So you, it, it's like you spend an extra mana on your multicolor creatures, but then they enter with 1-1 one, one counters. And so all these creatures being a little bit bigger was really difficult to deal with. And then that also... Like, later on, you know, you get to, you know, that's a really good combination with the Huatli's Raptor that can uh, proliferate uh, your creatures after you get the counters on them with that land. So, yeah, this is this is a different looking deck here. It looked pretty cool. Let's uh, let's give this a try. <laughs> yeah, we could use some Fulminator Mage, that's for sure. Man, that would be a good card for standard, Fulminator Mage. I would take that one right now. But yeah, here we go. Let's play some Naya Glass. All right, so we're going to play this deck through a league. See if we can get to five wins before two losses and give this deck a try. Hey, Project Vanner. <clears throat> Correct. Um, yeah, lands are colorless permanents. Yes, all lands are colorless permanents. Yeah, four mana Johnny would fit in this deck as long as we have creatures out. Kind of the problem with four mana a Johnny is that it doesn't it doesn't do anything unless you already have a, like other creatures in play. Really, the tick up of just gain three life isn't really valuable unless you're playing against like mono red, and so you really want to be able to minus on like multiple creatures because minusing on just like one creature isn't as good as playing like. The other four mana, Johnny, for example. Ooh, the Grim Initiate. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to take a turn here. Where, yeah, we could play Goblin as a 3-3. But that makes Goblin kind of easy to kill for a red deck, right? They Lightning Strike it. We're on the play. I think we have this extra turn where we can just make all of our creatures one, one, uh, tough, like one power and toughness. Make you know, give them all the one-one counters, and make them all a little larger and make it harder for the red deck to kill them. You know, so like make the go so the goblin's going to be a four-four that we'll play next turn, and then we'll make five-five spellbreaker, and then six toughness Aurelia. Yeah, I was kind of thinking cavalcade. That our opponent's playing like Cavalcade of Calamity. That's what I was that's what I was feeling. But yeah, it could be Aristocrats. And obviously with the Dragon Skull Summit, looking like Aristocrats now. If you have two forms in play, you need to tap this, the two mana you want to spend for them first and then activate them. Otherwise, you'll just use the special mana from the first to activate the second. I see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. So we play 5-5 five, five Spellbreaker, or we play Aurelia, and then next turn, 6-6 six, six Spellbreaker. Let's just play, like, regular 2-5 Aurelia. And then next turn, 6-6 six, six Spellbreaker. It doesn't really matter if I played the second forum or not. There. I'm, I'm going to play the second forum this next turn. I guess maybe I'm supposed to play that card instead of getting two counters on Spellbreaker. No, we're gonna get the two counters on Spellbreaker. Because we can just play that next turn. Oh no! Oh, I guess that's what that's what you were telling, warning me about. I was thinking I had to do that. Okay, there we go. Undo. It's already giving me the rope. I'm just trying to cast my card. Yeah, we'll go haste. Uh, give this thing... Uh, oh, so it only gave one, one counter? Why didn't it get the two? Uh, I still did it wrong? Why is it why is it so difficult? It took the special mana anyway. Ugh, training is so Okay, hard. so I have to tap two normal mana. What? I mean, how is that any different than what I did? Oh well. I didn't think it was taking the special mana whenever I did that, but I guess it did. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do full control. Alright, our anti-aggro package, a bunch of baffling ends and some devout decrees. Bindings are gotta be good here. What's the worm for? I don't know. Killing stuff. Probably. Okay. What do we want to take out against aggro here? We could take out the Vivians, I suppose. Yeah, probably just take out the Vivians. I, I don't know of any artifacts. I'm trying to think of like artifacts and enchantments they're going to play. I don't think they're going to play any. So we can probably take out Knight of Autumn. Because um, it's just going to be like 3 mana, 4, 3. Which isn't which is fine, but not spectacular. If they're killing all my creatures, the, the glass isn't going to matter as much. Or if we're, like, if we're like needing to play like creatures in removal to like stay alive. I don't think they're Cavalcade. Oh yeah, they'll probably have uh, Mask of Emulation, that's true. Um, I'm gonna trim a couple of Legionnaires that don't block very well. Ravager Worm does not 
destroy Field of the Dead. It only destroys lands with activated abilities. This is looking a whole lot like last game where we keep the four land three spell and draw a few lands. Our hand is not nearly as good as last game though. We don't have the forums to make our creatures really big. Plus we don't have just the really big creatures in general. It's not a great matchup for Tajik. Definitely have not liked my three draw steps. <clears throat> not liking where we are right now. And especially that they're just all shock lands. So we're drawing the worst lands we could. Yeah, you can. Yep, you can recur Ravager Worm with Rien. That probably sounds right. Right, Rien? Does that sound right for y'all? How am I pronouncing that? Chandra Nalar, Pyromancer Extraordinaire. Go get him, buddies. Alright, cool. Yeah. It's in the ballpark at least. Air does some stuff there. Still not killing Chandra, but getting some damage on on her, putting her down to one. I don't believe my opponent has Cavalcade of Calamity. Throw another punch, and you're gonna get burned. Oh, that's a threat right there. Our opponent going trips Dragon Skull Summit, probably wishing they had some of my shock lands. Stop drawing the worst possible cards, deck. Rian. I am not happy right now. That was cool. She kind of dies to everything. But Oh well. Darn. That was part of everything. At least it wasn't a land. Yeah, color. Yeah, color removal is pretty OP against three color guards. to target a creature I control? That's lame. So yeah, really I should just get Noxious Grasped. Yep. Chandra, remember that spell. Okay. 
Ooh. Ugh, training is so hard. Yeah, if we're gonna draw all these lands, we really want those guild mage forums. That was really nice that first game when we had all those guild mages forums. But yeah, Noxious Grasp, that is pretty rough. Yeah, our deck's all about like. Oh no. Well. It was fun while it lasted. I wish Proliferate could remove counters. Just re remove counter from that 1-1. One, one. Thanks, Sanguine. This is Pit's deck, who's in chat right now. Yeah, Deliferate. <laughs> Maybe Amateur Liferate? Is that the diff is that the opposite of proliferate? Um hmm. Honor Guard would stop Stop Bantu. Oh man, we got Ixlon's bindings? That card's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, we actually have good cards in our deck. Let's see. I kind of want to play this Ravager Worm. If we're going to draw millions of lands again. We only have 24 lands. That's like not even very many. We'll just go with the same. Okay. We got more creatures, less lands. Still just all these shock lands. Where's my forum? The guild mages need a forum. I'm I'm planning on leading with the guild pack on two to make it so burn spells again are more difficult to kill stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Elijah. A cheer for that for the joke. Uh, we don't use forums anymore. Uh, correct, Quasar. I think you answers your your own questions. Um, yeah, it's it's possible that Hero Precinct One is more valuable than Glass of the Guild Pact, absolutely. Very possible. I don't know, this is my first match playing the deck. So, you know, you can think of, I mean, like, would we rather have Hero here? Like, maybe, but, you know, they could also just, like, have, like, a removal spell that kills Hero, and maybe the, the sizing is going to matter quite a bit. Five fives are pretty cool. And the heart fire. You know, the man to activate night. It's too valuable not to block, so I'm not like. like I guess it's like Heart Fire, Sack Grim Initiate. Oh, Coil. Right. That makes sense. See, look at that. Glass meant that, you know, Coil didn't kill my Spellbreaker. We got to take a, a Knight of the Ebon Legion out of there also because of this glass. That's pretty cool. Hmm. 
These things are so big. They're too big. Smoif, what have you been struggling with? Whoa, Chandra sleeves. It's like this. <laughs> what is this thing doing in here? This is like so underwhelming compared to like all like look at all this cool stuff. You get all this gold and this XP and this orb thing that like says you're a master. And then, then like this, these fire sleeves. Look at all this cool stuff. And then it's like, oh yeah, here's like this like draft card that you'll never play. Also, you can have one of those. So satisfying. All right. I cannot change the you know, like we're in this this league, so I can't change my sleeves and then it and then it like the sleeves change in our league. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> no, the orbs are cool. You can change when you sideboard? I don't think you can. But we'll see. So in case this is blue red drakes, won't have the goblin die to a shock. Does not look like blue red drakes. So against mono blue. Four tough or like four power is pretty important because of Tempest Gen. So we're still going counter. Yeah, I have purchase levels. And purchase levels a few different times to get uh, card styles that I wanted for decks. So yeah, that's why I'm at level 100 already. Awesome. All right, perfect. So we get Aurelia. Aurelia gives this goblin trample. So both these things have trample. So even though they can block with Sir Eulen Drake, they're still taking eight. No, Gol you cannot. You cannot change the X of any X spell with Golos. So no, Golos does not work with X spells. I 
I don't think trading with Aurelia, trading Aurelia is too great here. <laughs> yeah, no, I did not buy that many levels. I just, I just bought a, a couple of levels at a time. Creatures are so big, there's no fooling around. Yeah, really, it was awesome there, uh, giving those goblins trample. Um, so we want this fry, the baffling ends. Night of, the, Night of Autumn can get rid of Curious Obsession. Um, binding is very useful if it resolves and actually exiles something, but with it costing four mana, it resolving and exiling something is you know, not um, super likely. Don't want Glass the Guild Pact at all. Don't really like Tajik here either. It's pretty small being a 3-2. Comparatively. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know the deck's called Glass, but the sizing, the creature sizing isn't too important when your opponent's just playing 1-1s. One oh, Sorry, Mason. I forgot to try changing the sleeve. You're telling me I could try. I could change the sleeve during sideboarding. I forgot. Yeah, worms just really expensive. Six is just too much. I think. Like we're already kind of pushing it with five. Toughness does matter against Jin, or power matters against Jin. That is true. Alright, so that's out of there. So if they play Tempest Gen, we can exile Tempest Gen. Alright, no Tempest Gen. I don't really mind. Of course, I don't mind trading that for a retort with having Aurelia and Rien, two more valuable spells. Um, definitely hope we draw two mana or less removal, though, here to be able to pair up with Baffling and to be able to double spell. That would be ideal. Hmm. Or... I just resolve Aurelia while we can? 
So they could have Unsummon. Unsummon would be a big beating. Like, Trickster isn't as bad. Unsummon would be a huge beating. Let's just get this thing out of here. Oh. Because... Right. Well... That could have been better. <laughs> yeah, he tried to warn me about that pit. With auto tap with forum. Um, I'll throw this thing up there. Rien. That animation's really cool. Hey, Lonks. Or Glonks. Welcome. Stream's going really good so far. So far, so good. Uh, here, cast you first. That's so much attack power. Blocking Rien. He's got trampled though. <laughs> We've taken so many hits, and yet we're at five and they're at ten, and we only attacked one time. Okay. I don't want to do this. Block, block, four, eight. I guess this is the best way to make it for like maximum damage is giving that thing trample. Because if, if I have a really gain, give it get the trample and everything, then she can mentor onto this goblin, but they just block these other two because they don't have trample and they they only take eight. Um, going this way, uh, they are taking lethal, no matter what they do. Now, without having a dive down to soak up damage. All right, two and oh. Nia Glass getting it done. I can't change the sleeves right now. I'd, we have to like maybe try during sideboarding, I guess. So somebody's saying that you can change them in sideboarding, which that's pretty weird. But d in a league like this, we can't change the deck or change the sleeves or anything during the league. All right, we got some glasses.
I mean, the glass was really, really good that one game against Red Black. It, like, kind of won us that game. Mm. Hallowed Fountain. Do we want to haste against the fountain? Or get glass and play? I think we want to haste against the fountain. I think against the red deck we want... Against red, we want the glass and play first. Against, like, the control deck, we want the damage. Against, like, the Espa. If these were both hero precinct ones, we would have we would have led with hero, and then they would allegiance end the hero, and they would have exiled the other one. Oh, they do have Othakaya. I kind of forgot about Othakaya, to be honest. All right, let's get these two things in here. So they do have direct damage. So we want our things above three toughness. The focus and meditate. Prepare. Want to take out Narset? Mighty warrior, I concede. No, we don't have any kind of draw engine. I mean, well, yeah, we do. We have Vivian. Never mind, we have two Vivians. So, yeah, that would be our best draw, is one of the two Vivians. Responsibility. You need to take a time out. Don't want to extend into the Kaya's wrath. This is hardly my worst defeat. With having haze creatures. We're not beating Citadel from here, not with, the, not with this, but we really just can't let them just keep on getting more and more cards, you know? Like, we just gotta, gotta do what we gotta do there. I mean, attacking them is not gonna win the game. 
that last turn. Just letting them reset the top, like letting them reset the top of the library, and because we attack them, they definitely just block with Bell Hunt, um, and you know, or just cast down there. But then letting them reset the top Let's with with Narset. Hold that thought. We're not we're not winning that. Like we're we're still just not really winning this anyway. Like Bolus's Citadel is kind of impossible to beat. Oh, need to use the forum. Uh, I need to use the forum. Make that a 6-6. Six, six. It's only a matter of time. Well, whenever we attacked Narset earlier when they were at 18, we didn't know anything about Citadel. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. You know, back on turn three, I didn't know I didn't know anything about Citadel on turn three. Keep an open mind. So this is going to be pretty tough for us, just in general. Um, glass is, you know, like whenever you're playing against a bunch of removal, again, sizing isn't that important when you're playing against a bunch of removal. So we got to see our opponent could, opponents can basically ignore glass. I mean, I guess I'm going to try binding since we have all these Ixalan's bindings. Binding isn't like a card that I usually play against Esper, though. But it's better than shock. Uh, I've never really liked binding against Esper, but maybe, maybe it'll work. Maybe it will work. Um, I haven't liked it in the past because, like, I'll try to like binding one to fairy, and then the other to fairy gets rid of the binding, and then they get their planeswalker back. Um, whenever they have, you know, like, they have to spark also. Like, they have like a bunch of like ways to get rid of binding, and so I've never liked it before. But. It's really all we have in our sideboard. Um, so we're going to try it. Yeah, maybe we can get lucky binding both and they don't have to spark or anything like that. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Honor Guard. Overshock. To try to stop Bell Hunt, and they probably have. Uh, like, they could have Hostage Taker after sideboard, but they probably have the other four mana card also, the blue-white one. Oh, yeah, the Elite Guard Mage. That's the name of that card. Oh, I... Yeah, I don't... I, blocking Huali's Raptor is not important. It does It does get rid of... Um, what's much more important is it does stop Knight of Autumn. So that, that hurts, stopping Knight of Autumn. Need this Tajik here. All right, I'll take it. Yay, no Othakaya. That's good. Othakaya was so brutal for us last game. Definitely felt like Othakaya won that last game.
Just playing the land they know about. And plus, I'd rather, if they have Bell Hunt, I would rather have that land in play anyway and discard the Foundry. Okay, so we're saying we have to add two mana and then do this. Okay, that looks like that worked. Okay, that worked. There are so I have just the trick for this. Violence is upsetting. Gosh, Searchers Escanta is so good, too. Their hands both times have been really, really good. So just play this on us, Kanta. No, stop drawing lands, deck. We're so close. We're so close. Just need a haste creature. Also take Vivian. I'm known for my excellent timing. Reverse. Deck, why are you doing this? Hurry. Good news is in two draw steps we get Spellbreaker. Oh, come on. Because Spellbreaker, of course, has Hexproof during my turn. So as long as they don't have life gain here, as long as they don't find, like, Bell Haunt or another Othakaya or anything like that. Yeah, that is true that, that Oath doesn't save them because Spellbreaker will be a 5 5, so really need like Bell Haunt. Or obviously Counterspell. Yeah, Kaya's Wrath would have done it if they would have played 3 mana Teferi and ticked up. Oh, they still have the mana to do that. Because of this untapping. I am not going to sit this one. I've got time. If I were just binding the Ascanta, I think we would have had this, and I but I didn't do that. Is there any reason not to do this? Because I can't think of one. No.
Keep up the pace. We just have to draw another spellbreaker. I mean, I can't just get any haste creature because they have noxious grasp, so it has to be spellbreaker. No, no none of those other haste creatures will work because they just kill it with regular removal. Spellbreakers are only out. Uh, Spellbreaker's not even an out anymore, right? Because they just bounce this and recast it. Trust yeah. me, I have a plan. This is over now. Alright, so I will admit that our deck... Well, we were really close to winning that game, but our deck looks kind of poorly positioned against Esper. We're running a lot of cards that aren't very good against Esper. I didn't draw that well, you know, drew a lot of lands in the, like, the mid and late game in those matches, and my opponent had really good plays like every single turn. If you look at like their, like what they played turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five, you know, just really every, till the rest of the game, like turn two through the rest of the game is really ideal Esper. But with that being said, uh, we could have a whole lot more in our sideboard for Esper. Rien does not trigger herself. No, Rien says an, like other creatures that die. Rien doesn't save herself. But Rien would yes, if there's if there's like a Kaya's wrath with a bunch of other creatures, the other creatures would go back to your hand. But Rien would not. Yeah, the reason why I hesitated on the Ixalan's binding is because they had Teferi in hand, and then if I if I do binding the search, then they'll be able to use the... Like, we weren't going to be able to kill the Teferi. And so Teferi could get rid of Binding after a couple of turns. And they'd get search back. And then immediately flip search. But for how fast that game was... I mean... I guess it was only their second Thought Erasure. Because they, they, that Thought Erasure surveilled over another Thought Erasure. So it wasn't their third one. But yeah, so that was their second one. But yeah... Because I, I was expecting them just to play Teferi the next turn. That's what I was expecting. And then my binding would be safe. And then we would binding Teferi. That's what I want to do is binding Teferi. But it's not how the game played out. Correct. I will not keep this. Uh, no, this wasn't a donation deck. But this isn't my deck. This is a, a viewer deck that we... Um, played against during the sub battle stream last night and looked really cool and so I'm playing it today. I was talking about the five mana Teferi. Uh, Pit did. Yeah, I guess my opponent's not there. No, I haven't played an Elvish Reclaimer Lotus Field deck, no. I haven't done anything with Elvish Reclaimer really yet. Hey, track team, the day's going really well. Yeah. Having a good stream day here today. We're playing some fun decks. Really liking the Sultai Treachery deck that we played earlier. 
If we were playing ranked, you know, we would just play another match. I wouldn't count that as like a win, like a disconnect. Um, but we're playing like this league thing, so you know, it counts as like the third win, so. It's updated. Yeah, this is my first time playing Rien. Yeah, so tight. Yeah, you can find the, the deck list in there. If you want to just find all the the decks, just exclamation point decks. Gets it to you there. Uh, let's see. We are going to mulligan again, and mulligan again. And mulligan again. Okay, so we want the f guild the forums, or at least one forum. Can safely get rid of. Rootbound Crag, Sun Petal Grove. We'll go with this. Yeah, this is magic. One lander, one lander, one lander, and then one speller. So do I want to just play this 2-2? Two -two? Not really. I'll just wait a turn and for him. So it looks like Simic Flash. Fortunately, this isn't like um, uh, Cavernous Souls, where throw that thing out there. It's not like Cavernous Souls, or they're uncounterable. So yeah, the goblin would have got syncopated. No, not the double green. The dreaded double green. So I can't really beat a wolf or... Frilled Mystic even? Not really. I could try to double spell, you know, I could just double spell here with Raptor Legionnaire, but even like doing that and then like, you know, like maybe playing Raptor first, they counter it and then being like, all right, we get Legionnaire, um, get that to resolve. It's like what, like Legionnaire doesn't beat a Spectral Sailor anyway. Nice, good job, Lothak. Uh, but no, the the Rakdos Aristocrats that we're playing later on is a donation deck from another viewer. So yeah, the Spectral Sailor is the real problem here.
Yeah, three three mana Domri is a good spell. Our three mana slot is really, really full in this deck. We're playing all these Tajiks and Sky Knight Legionnaires. And as mentioned before, Spectral Sailor is the real problem. Yeah, six land opening hand, still draw more lands. I'm just kind of flooded out both games against Esper and here. Um, the problem with, that, with having no card advantage is this can happen. I would love to have some Spectral Sailors. You can't really say that, no, you can't really say, uh, yes, Banana Jack it is. Um, can't really say that Domri is much better than Legionnaire because they just do different things. Like, for example, think about drawing a, a Domri here. Domri would do nothing, or Legionnaire can block an attack. So, like, when you have, like, other, when you have creatures in play and your opponent has creatures in play and you want removal, like, Domri is going to do that for you. But if you don't have creatures in play, like if your opponent's like playing removal, like they're like a control deck, and you, like Domri's not going to help you. They're killing all your stuff. We have. Um. We have pretty safely determined the glass of the guild pact isn't too good of a card. It wanted, you know, like we had our suspicions about it and, you know, but wanted to try it out. But I think it's pretty safe to say that just playing Hero of Precinct 1 instead of Glass of the Guild Pact would be a more impactful card most every time. Yeah, this is good against Frilled Mystic. If they have like Trickster, it's good there also. So yeah, it's probably worth playing. Um, Yeah, Baffling End can definitely be good. I don't want to play too many Baffling Ends, though. We need to be able to put pressure still on our opponent. But there are definitely times where Baffling End is good. We Like, all the things that Baffling End gets rid of, Shock also gets rid of from their deck, and we have the four Shocks already. They don't, they don't really have any creatures that that don't die to shock that Baffling End would get. Well, Icon of Ancestry you need to have a specific tribe for.
Yeah, this the I don't I don't know. This might have been the first time we did a mole in the last few hands. It's it certainly seems like it. Um. Oh, I just saw your your message about trying to change the sleeve. Yeah, I I keep on forgetting about trying to change the sleeve during sideboarding there. All right, I guess I won't play around syncopate. I could play around syncopate and not do this. Not do the whole counter thing. But of course, the upshot of doing the counter is Tajik gets to mentor onto the goblin. Yeah, that's what our, our deck can do. We'll see if we can still get there on the draw. Yeah, that was a pretty... That was a game right there. Ugh, opponent didn't put up much of a fight, though. It's a lot easier to, to get spells to resolve when you're on the play than when you're on the draw. Simic Flash is the kind of deck that really, really wants to be on the play. So losing game one to Simic Flash means that you're going to have to win a game on the draw, and that's tough. All right, here we go. We got spells. Not able to play Raptor on two. Shock's a good draw. Get that thing out of here. Um. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how to quantify it. Like, you know, questions being, um, how often would you say that yourself on, or like, like, the, so, okay, so how often would you say the average MTG player loses because of drawing mana that you didn't need? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's definitely a big part of the game. Is, um, you know, the, the person that draws a better land to spell ratio has a has a really big good shot of winning. Wrong color. So Guildmage's form cannot cast Honor Guard, because Honor Guard is monocolor. Right? Oh no, no, it can. It just doesn't enter with an additional 1-1 counter. Oh, okay. Never mind, it can. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I do, Lothak. Wow. 
Wow, that was awful auto tapping. That happened to me before. Could have done, done something about that. Okay, so we need to do light. Red. No. They really do make this hard. You really do have to do it this way. This is the actual only way to do it. So much work. So much work and no reward. I don't know how we beat this ambusher though. I mean, I needed Aurelia. Yeah, I kind of needed Aurelia. Wait, do we have any way to win from here? Yeah, like we have to like draw like what like Rien or Ixalan's binding and like then those have to resolve. I mean, we're taking lethal if they just attack.
Okay. So that's our Naya Glass deck. Um, has some really good aggressive elements to it, of course. Like, that's that's what the deck's, like, built around, is trying to just win the game kind of quickly with some good aggressive elements. We noticed that, like, the, the longer games we ha kind of had no chance. Like, the longer the games went, the worse for us. Um, you know, we didn't have any staying power. The only, the only staying power in the deck is Vivian, and Vivian is awesome at that, but we never drew Vivian, and without having other ways to, like, draw Vivian or anything, that's kind of tough. So, you know, we can, we can definitely, like, win games kind of quickly, but the more interaction our opponent had for us, like, slowing us down um, and stabilizing and that kind of stuff, we couldn't really break through after that. Um, but yeah, uh, besides that, um, I like the land a lot. So basically, I think like this, like this land, like you know, gives our creatures those one-one counters. I like that a lot, and I, I kind of don't think the glass, the guild pack's really necessary because the land just does what the guild pack, what the glass does, um, on its own. But like this, this, this was certainly a useful land, but we need. We really, like, this kind of deck really needs, like, more, um, uh, more card advantage, you know, like, a, more ways to win a long game, which we don't really have at all. You know, if, like, whenever we curve out, you know, two drop, three drop, and, and everything, we curve out, we get some big haste creatures, we can win games, but without that, um, it was really tough. Uh, we did get to draw Rien a couple of times early, early on, and that was cool. Um, good animation and everything like that. We never got to do, like, have Rien in play and then be able to just attack with creatures with Reckless Abandon because we don't care if they uh, die because they would just go back to our hand. So, unfortunately, we didn't get to do that. Uh, didn't get to have fun with that, but... Um, but, yeah, so, like, maybe, like, Hero Precinct 1 instead of Glass and... You know, like this this is the kind of deck that could play like Oketra or you know, you could have other planeswalkers. We talked like people talked about like three mana Domri would be able to give us removal, plus also pump our creatures as well, like another another way to make our creatures bigger and give us removal. Um, even four mana Domri would be able to give our, our creatures riot or get or you know, minus and get you more stuff. Um, all that kind of all that kind of stuff. So th those are some other options, but um, yeah, it was, it was fun to play. It was fun to play something a little different here. All right, so that's Naya Glass. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Yeah, as long as you can cast four mana Vivian, triple green's really tough. But four mana Vivian is awesome if it's in play. It's just uh, if you can cast it. Oh, I really like the Treachery deck. I think the Treachery deck is very solid, very solid. Um, and then, yeah, um, what's up, Caesar? But yeah, there we go. So that's Naya Glass. Uh, anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.